we're here with Scott Gray, who is Managing Director of Rapid Data Services. Scott, we're at the Institute of Fundraising National Convention. Uh, you've just released details of report on developments within by direct debit. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. At the uh, start of the year, we launched the direct debit tracking report, um, which was a six-year study on direct debit trends. Um, and in that, we saw a, a, a cycle when people cancelled. And we looked at it for a number of reasons. One was to see if there was such a cycle and to feed that back to charities. Another reason was seeing if there was an effect on the, the recessions having on cancellations. And in there, we, we definitely saw that there was a peak sort of the summer of last year where cancellations were rising over 5%. Um, and so what we wanted to do, and this report is available in March, um, what we wanted to do is come back and revisit it, which we've done this week, to actually see what's happening. Um, and so we've looked at that and we've tracked over the month up to the end of June to see were things skyrocketing or were things getting worse. Um, but the good thing is, and it's been reported in the third sector today from Page, is that things seem to be getting better. Things aren't going up. Uh, they seem to be plateauing, which is all good news for the sector. Um, so it's, it's good to report some positive, positive news. Yes, and that applies to all charities. How many records were you looking at? For this research? We were, uh, for this, we were looking at uh, over 150 charities, from small to large, um, somewhere in the region of about 4 million direct debits over the year. Uh, someone recently, actually yesterday, said, oh, was this just concentrating on one particular fundraising method? Um, in actual fact, it didn't. It, it sort of spanned, uh, because we were looking at a very cross section of charities, it looked at every single fundraising method. We don't know, because some of the data we get, we're not too sure how, the, how it's been fundraised. But we, we know that it's not focused on one particular avenue that we will span, so we're pretty confident that uh, these figures represent. And certainly some of the feedback I've had at the convention uh, from charities that I actually don't process with ourselves have said their figures are exactly the same, so that was encouraging. So regular giving looks to be on a, on a fairly stable keel yeah, at the moment? It would, It'd be interesting to see because in July and August things start rising again if we follow the trends of the last six years. So we do expect it to go up again. Um, I don't expect uh, levels really to return to next year to probably the recession, pre-recession uh, totals. But at least it's encouraging and at least it's not going up as we were experiencing at the tail end of last year. And I gather you're going to carry on with the research over the next few months. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're going to be looking at probably a, a new topic uh, next year. Um, we'll be still following up on the cancellations, but obviously the recession hopefully will be gone and behind us and everyone will be looking forward. Um, so we're actually going to be talking to our clients to actually see if there's more things that we can include in there. Um, so we would very much welcome any feedback that people can email me with things that they would like to see in the tracking report. But certainly we're not leaving it, but we won't be in so much debt. <laughs> and can you tell us where we can find out more about Rapid Data? Yeah, absolutely. We can go to our new website, uh, rapiddataservices.com, um, and the tracking report from March, which looks at the six years, is there, and also the tracking report of the mid year has just been released and is up there now. Scott Gray of Rapid Data Services, thank you very much. Thank you, Adam.